Hi there! Today I will share with you simple and effective ChatGPT techniques that I use in my work. This video is a part of my new course AI Powered Workflow for Photographers. In the full course you will learn how to speed up and automate your image editing workflow, combine photos and AI generated images, and create image editing scripts using AI. Also, you will discover how to enhance image calling using AI-powered tools and set up an effective AI retouching system. The course is almost fully published and this is your last chance to get it with a 30% early access discount. Previously, I have shown you how to use ChatGPT to create image editing scripts. However, AI chatbots such as ChatGPT open way more possibilities for photographers. In this part of the course, you will see how AI-powered tools can help you to write compelling business emails, run your social media accounts, create effective ads, and improve your website. In a nutshell, ChatGPT is a probability system. It builds an answer based on probability according to your request or a prompt. The simpler the prompt you will enter, the more generic answer you will get. Let's take this sentence. A fat cat sits on and ask ChatGPT to continue it. The output is short and straightforward. Ok, let's make this prompt more precise. I'm going to ask ChatGPT to continue this sentence as a short poem for children. See how the answer drastically changes depending on the prompt. By the way, that's a lovely poem. Now, let's make this prompt more unique and wild. I'm going to ask ChatGPT to continue this sentence as a script of a short TV commercial for cat food broadcasted on the Super Bowl and directed by Michael Bay. Ok, it looks like a pretty solid script for an ad. As you can guess, the same works for any ChatGPT requests. Give ChatGPT a plain prompt to create a business email and you will get bland and generic text. Use a smart prompt and you will get an outstanding result. Here's a real-life example. Several months ago, my wife and I published a book 101 ChatGPT prompts for your LinkedIn profile. LinkedIn gave me official permission to use their trademark in the book's name. How did I negotiate this? I just asked ChatGPT to prepare a formal email using the best practices of asking for such permissions from corporations like LinkedIn. And it worked! By the way, my followers can get this book with 20% off with this code. Alex on Raw. Here are my three rules of thumb for creating effective ChatGPT prompts. First of all, I always try to provide ChatGPT with as much data as possible. For instance, I need to create a short Facebook announcement of my new video tutorial on color grading in Capture One. 
let's use some generic prompt like I have released a new video tutorial about color grading in Capture One. Create a short Facebook post with an announcement of this tutorial. Not bad, but as you can see, the post needs more factual information. Let's provide ChatGPT with all data that we have. I'm going to copy-paste the tutorial description and all information on what viewers will learn from this tutorial. Also, ChatGPT should mention that you can watch a sample video from this tutorial free of charge. And all buyers will get a set of color correction styles for Capture One. I wouldn't say I like the first output, so I'm going to regenerate the result. Okay, this one looks better, still it's a bit too promotional. And here is the second rule of thumb. I always fine-tune ChatGPT outputs with particular writing styles. In this case, I'm going to ask ChatGPT to rewrite this text in conversational language with casual grammar and without direct advertisement. Okay, as it sometimes happens with ChatGPT, it went overboard, and the overall style is now unnaturally informal. So, I'm going to ask ChatGPT to rewrite this text in a bit more official, but still friendly manner. Well, that looks much better, and we can use this text with a couple of edits. And here is the third rule I follow. Always ask ChatGPT to adjust the initial output. It's perfectly fine when ChatGPT doesn't offer a flawless output from the first attempt. You need to explain to a chatbot what you expect to get, just as you clarify your requests to real people. In the case of this post, I'm going to ask ChatGPT to highlight what people will learn from this tutorial. Not quite what I expected. Let's regenerate it. Hmm. Again, ChatGPT, you can do better. Well, this one is pretty nice. It still requires a couple of edits, but we can work with it. Now, let's see how to use ChatGPT for more than just copywriting. First, I love using AI to break a general task into particular steps, making it easier to complete. For instance, I plan to sell my old camera, Nikon D800. I'm going to ask ChatGPT to break this task into precise steps that I need to perform to sell it. Hmm. 
By the way, if you use Notion for your task management, it has a built-in AI that can do just the same. And sometimes Notion AI steps are even better. This seems like a pretty simple task, but you can also ask to describe steps to migrate your WordPress website to a new hosting or any other complex task. And don't forget the rule from the previous lesson. The more data you will provide ChatGPT with, the more accurate answer you will get. Finally, ChatGPT is surprisingly good at dealing with unusual and complicated tasks. For instance, ChatGPT is familiar with Photoshop curves. Let's ask it. Give me the typical output and input coordinates for a contrast curve in Photoshop. OK, let's apply these coordinates in Photoshop. It works. Now I would like to convert such curve coordinates into the code of Capture One presets. The problem is that the exact coordinates in the Capture One preset code will look like this. So, I'm going to ask ChatGPT to analyze this code and prepare a code that will place points on new coordinates 8064 and 190, 192. OK, that sounds logical. Let's test it in Capture One. I'm copy-pasting the new coordinates into my preset and saving it. Now I'm going to apply this preset in Capture One and... Perfect! It works! That's why I just love ChatGPT. It's like having a genius personal assistant available 24-7 for about... 20 bucks per month. In the full course, I will show you my favorite AI tools and you will learn tricks to get the correct output from chatbots. Start watching the course free of charge at alexandra.com/course.